Hi, I'm Mike Snyder, RS clinician for Roland US and V drums. The TD20X module is easy to use and has some great onboard tools that will help you create some really spectacular performance material. Remember, it's not just a drum set, it's V drums. Exploit the technology. Additionally, I encourage you to go to RolandUS.com and search for TD20X and download the PDF of the owner's manual for the TD20X brain. Now, that being said, let's get started. In this first video, I'll give you a quick overview of the TD20X sound module. Here's the overview. Top three knobs. Master, volume, phone volume, mix in volume. Mix in has a stereo, is essentially a stereo input in the back where I can mix, a, mix in a stereo source like my iPod or two channels of an SPDS or an SPD30. Phone volume, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Master volume is your master two outputs on the back. You have additional tools. Chain, tools, copy, card, setup, and trigger. You'll use the chain function later on, and you'll use the card function to save your data to a compact flash card. It will accept up to a four megabyte compact flash card. These are the F keys, or the soft function keys. They take the function that's listed above on the screen. In this instance, when you're in play mode, F1, list. F2, function. F3, name. F4, ah, nothing. F5 turns the cross stick off. The sequencer is where you start and stop a pattern or pick a pattern. P patterns are presets. When you get past 150, you'll notice there are U patterns, user patterns. Those are patterns that you can create your own sequences. You have down here the drum kit section. This is where you do all your editing. Your main kit mode, you can get knee deep in pages. All you have to do is hit kit mode, boom, and you're back to the kit you're playing at the time. Instrument is where you pick your instrument. Mixer is where you mix. Fader is actually controls these global faders. These are real-time faders that affect every drum set in the TD20. So if you get into a room and the snare's a bit loud, you can turn it down. There you have it. Those are real-time. You also have trigger select. Now I can go in, if you notice, boom, everything note chases, which means wherever I hit, Whenever I hit, it will note chase to that particular instrument right up here. If I have the TD20 by itself, I can use these trigger select. Right now you'll see it says snare, head to, rim to, snare. I can go boom, tom, tom three, tom four, hi-hat. So I don't need my pads plugged in in order to do my editing. I can do it just by using the trigger select. Let's selecting through the different inputs of the pads. If I'm playing, this is a really cool feature, if I'm playing and I want to edit something, I hit lock. Now it's locked on snare drum, so I can play all the other drums, I can play all the other drums that's locked on snare drum, and, and edit away in the context of what I'm hearing. Boom. For the editing portion of this, I'm going to let David Garza take you through a real quickly the basics. We'll start with editing the snare. This is V-Editing, where you can change a snare's shell material, shell depth, head type, tuning, muffling,
strainer adjustment, mic positions now with even more positions, and add sound where you can add tambourine, claps, or gated snare sounds to the snare and adjust their level. Kick editing. You can change shell depth, beater type, head type, and tuning, muffling, add snare buzz, Change mic positions, mic size, and now a kit resonance parameter where you can control how much the rest of the kit will resonate when you hit the kick. Hi-hat editing. Change the size of the hi-hats. Add sounds like tambourine, kabasa, and cowbell, and adjust their levels. Fix the hi-hat, and change mic positions. For symbol editing, you can change the size of the symbol, and add sizzle with rivets, chains, or beads and even control the amount. And of course, changing mic positions. There are now new room ambiences with new room types and expanded parameters such as room size, room shape, wall types, and mic positions. There's even a next door mic position. You can also now monitor just the ambience to more easily hear it. Other improvements like expanded copy functions. You can copy kits from one location to another and even copy kits from the preset memory or from backups on a compact flashcard. Copy individual instruments as well. When copying instruments from one kit to another, you can choose to copy the instrument with the pad's compression and EQ setting, or the instrument with V-Edit parameters only, or just copy the instrument's compression and EQ settings. You can now copy pad instrument sets such as kick and snare, toms, cymbal sets, and auxiliary pads. Copy a kit's volume, panning, ambience, multi-effects, as well as trigger banks, patch chains, and percussion sets. With the TDW20, there are now 100 kits in the play and edit area. Using a compact flashcard, you can now store 99 backups of 100 kits. It only takes a few seconds to load in a backup, but now you can also audition kits directly from the preset memory or from the compact flashcard. With 99 backups of 100 kits, plus the kits in preset memory, plus the kits in the user area, you now have instant access to play over 10,000 kits. All the changes, be it sequences, chains, custom kits, can be saved to a compact flashcard. The TD20X module will use or recognize up to a 4 gigabyte compact flashcard. Those are readily available almost anywhere. If you have problems finding one, you can order one online from flash-memory-store.com. I use them quite frequently and seem to be a good sort of source for compact flashcards.